Yo guys, um, it is Galaxy here, and today we are going to be playing a game called The Park. It is a scary game, and um, I've been really wanting to do something like this for a little bit, so we're going to play it. And if you guys like this, um, make sure to drop a like on this video, and I will do uh, more sequels to this. So um, I played a little bit of it before I started this video, but um, we're just going to see how it goes. And then... Yeah, so let's just get into it. The park. <laughs> okay, I'm never gonna do that again. That was, that was a failed attempt at an evil laugh. I'm never gonna do that. Sorry, you guys had to uh, witness that. Okay, are we gonna load anytime soon, bud? Come on, it's not a huge game. Return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? Okay. Oh, we're Mr. Bear. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Oh my gosh, her jeans though. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Yep, we need to go ask for information. Alright. So, see, this is not a bad game. I mean, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool, you know. The, some of the graphics aren't the greatest, but, uh, you know, we're doing good. Okay, so, we can see each other. Alright, that's cool. Um, Atlantic Island Park. Okay, well, I don't want to. To interact with objects, examine plaque. On the day this place opened, this is his favorite place in the world. Hmm. Cool. Information. Uh oh, I'm having flashbacks or something. Oh, uh, what what I do? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Does anyone else see her jeans? Like, jeez. Oh, great. Look at them. Look at those jeans, dude. That is a... God, those are some alien jeans, man. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Over here. Yeah, Callum. Oh, cool. All right, let's go up here and find Callum. Is that that's his name? Okay, there he is. Let's go get him. Let's go get us on. About the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn Whoa! World. Whoa! That's trippy. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Um, you need to get some new lights. Okay, I'm... Um, okay, what what's happening here? Oh, earthquake. Uh-oh. What is going on? What is going on, man? What's going on? Oh, it's nighttime now. And the kid's gone. Okay, can we hurry it up? Okay, I'm a little bit scared now, so... Just, uh... Just be aware... Go do this. Oh God. Alright, toggle running. Okay, we're good. We good. Okay, so now this park looks like it's been here for 15 years. Oh my god, shut up. Come here. You stupid dork. Come here. Sh come here. Sh come here, man. Little boy. Come here, little boy. Uh, can we keep... Oh my god, quit it. Man, that kid is running for it, man. Can we, like, catch up? What? Okay, what's going on? Can you run? There you go. Alright. 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 We running. We running in a park. That does not look like that's just there. 
Oh, examine the shoe. I think this belongs to Kelm. Oh, nice shoe, man. I like the imprint of the tennis shoe being tied on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. There's a squirrel. Shabby chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Indeed. Chad the Chickmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's not very nice. Oh, can we go in here? No. Okay. Okay, let's get in it. Oh, there's lights up here. Does anyone else hear that? Whoa. Dude, I hear something up there. I'm freaking out. Dude, I am not down. No. Callum, stay where you are. Dude, this Callum kid better freaking chill. This Callum kid better freaking chill out. Can I get in? Can I get on? Oh, okay. Okay. I am not enjoying this at all. This is... This is some scary stuff. I, I'm not a huge fan of scary games. Not a fan. What? I, I'm, I'm curious as what that is. Oh, there's a speaker there. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter. His mm. wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel. Oh God. Named Gretel. They were very poor. I really wish I could look farther that way. Or suck. Okay, well I'm just not gonna look at that anymore, I guess. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon. Whoa. Oh no no no! We will all four starve, you fool. What was that? Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Oh no. No, no. No, 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 no. I am not about it. No. No. No, 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 no. Get out, 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 no, sir. I'm not about that. The children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, okay. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to leave. Okay, please stop. How much you want to bet there's another guy over here? Trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh, God, please stop. 
The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. We speed this up, dude. Like I'm, I'm kind of regretting going through this. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just no one did. You're disgusting. No harm will come to you. But Hansel, Telling by your face is is not a good thing. Your face is disgusting. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have. <clears throat> This guy is not a very good uh, actor of a woman. Lollipops. The children took them and began to eat them. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Uh oh. Once inside the house, the old woman Yo. Dude, that was actually pretty freaking hard right there. And put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. God, you're disgusting. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused. Oh, thank God, we're almost at the end. The, day that the, witch was eaten. the witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Don't care. I've already heard this ten kajillion times. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled. Which was cooked. What did they eat her finally? Hmm, and then, what because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Oh, nice. Wonderful story. Can I get out now? Alan, where did you go? Yeah, Alan. Oh, hell no. Shit, just turn forward. Don't even worry about me. Just turn forward. You good, dog. You good. Let me out. 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 Come on, man. Let me out. Get me out of here. Please don't let me go through that again. Thank you. Cool, another trophy. Don't care. Is this kid really worth it, to be honest? Like, why do I have to go for him? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach their claws. 
Okay. I don't know how you think, but you go ahead. Okay, finally can run. Oh, great, there's a van. Another accident. This place. Oh, wonderful. What is that? Oh, wonderful. I don't I really don't want to I ever okay. I really don't want to read all this. So, got pause the video if you guys want to read that. I'm not really down for it. You guys go ahead and read it though. Okay, is it just me or are you guys hearing this? Cuz this is this is ain't this ain't about me, okay? I am not about this. Yeah, I'm not about this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I just realized that I was recording. Oh. I realized that the volume wasn't very high. The game volume wasn't really high, so I turned it up a little more. Hopefully, that's better. Do apologize, but... That don't look fun. I don't know who thought of that idea. Why is everything in the water? Hmm? This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. suits they give me the creeps it's silly i know anyway the chipmunk man he was carving and picking away at the ice and at first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or a lion but the more he the but as more and more ice fell away when you first looked it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice but the more you looked at it the more you saw that there were there was something not quite right about it the promotions something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster like your prey and that thing is with the, with the ice hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was... I can't read that. I don't know what that is. Everyone was running away from the guy who had two teenagers on the ground and stab he was stabbing them. Oh boy. That doesn't look fun. Okay, can I put that back down? Okay. Okay, so the guy in the chipmunk mask uh, was carving uh, something and um, some teenagers obviously didn't like it very much, so they stabbed him. Well, the teenagers didn't, but uh, he stabbed the teenagers, so that's cool. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay, how about... What does that do? Oh, I remember this. Oh, that's me and the kid. Okay, I'm not going on that because it's probably going to take me 50,000 years. Thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? 
We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Don't worry, you did the best you could. Don't worry about it. God, doesn't that look sexy? Huh? I don't know what that, that is, but don't really want to find out. Oh, this looks big. Huh, <laughs> no. That ain't about to happen. You think it's about to happen, but it ain't. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, I know what this is. I saw this in the trailer. Oh, there's one on over here. Hi. Um, hello. Someone left. Uh. Oh. What? 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 Oh! Whoa! 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 No! 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 Oh god, that just gave me the shivers. Oh. Yo. Guess we're supposed to be going up here. Oh great, next is a Ferris meal. It's a public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Um, yeah, that's not a very good idea to leave your kid in a car. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. The reason why I don't read a lot of these guys, and even if I read them to myself, um, is because I'm dyslexic and I don't like people making fun of me for it. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't really like reading. Um, I can, but I just don't really want to. Yeah, it's probably this is probably another one of those rides where I can ride it, but I'm just gonna choose not to because I don't really want to because it's gonna take me ten years, just like the last fucking ride. That's a weird looking light bulb. Okay, so now that path is clear. What? Why? I, I hate this. Why? Why does this happen? Stop hiding, Callum. Oh, hey. 
hell no. I don't know if you guys heard that. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. <laughs> My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Okay, so it looks like this chick's gone insane. Like I said before, this is probably just another stupid fucking ride that I'm kind of going to want to ride, but then I don't really care. I'm just going to do this I always one. always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Yeah, because we always had Callum. Callum couldn't go on these rides. Don't be afraid. Alright, we're going to ride this. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, come on. We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. Oh. The boy are everything that oh. doesn't want. Oh. That ain't my hand. What we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the part is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Oh, just, come on. Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yo ho. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We're getting flashbacks. That's great. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Go ahead. Keep coming. No? One more. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Great. Oh. All right. Oh, we hit Callum. Fantastic. I don't understand how she was talking about like how she hates her kid and everything, but yet she cares a little so much about him. Like I don't understand that. See if this frick boy's still in here. No, he's not. He dipped. Okay. Okay, so apparently there's a witch that's in control of this park. I think. And now the park has him as well as me. Okay, we gotta... Awaits. All right, we got a flashlight now. How, how do I activate the flashlight? I can help you, Callum. Can I activate the flashlight? Hey, how do I activate it? Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. 
When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, you will understand why. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay. I was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Dude, why does it do that? I hate that. <sighs> oh my gosh. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. I am not about that. Take pills. Uh, these are mine. Fear the boogeyman. Uh, don't believe anything they tell you. Are you better off? Say say no to graffiti. Your mother. Not safe. The league. I can taste your dreams. I can't read all the way to that. Fuck graffiti. <laughs> Get out, please. I really want to get out. Can I please get out? Okay. Did I just take some drugs? Oh, oh, even better. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. That didn't really scare me that much. Oh, so he just keeps doing that? Okay, what if I come up to him? Okay, so he's just going to keep doing that. All right. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. Alright, that's cool. Oh, so I have to go this way. Alright, that's great. Um. Okay, well, how about I just run into you? How does that feel? Does it feel good? Oh, so now I can't even go through that way. Don't touch me! Don't leave me here, Calm. Don't leave me, Cal. Don't do it. Oh, you know that dead body that we found? I bet you that was one of the teenagers. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, just passed out. <clears throat> just got cuts all over my arms and then passed out. Okay. Alright, 